What's up guys and welcome back to LSJ TV. This is going to be the brand new fourth updated gym tour for 2018. I've got some brand new additions and I cannot wait to show you, so let's get right into it. Right guys, so this is the first piece of kit nicely tucked away in the corner. We actually got it at Body Power 2015, so we've had it for a little while now, and it is the Body Max CF820 Dual Adjustable Functional Trainer. And it's really good because you can use it for pull-ups. As you guys can see here, you can use this long bar which came included with it. You can use that for that pull-down. You get all kinds of attachments with it. Uh, not all necessarily come with it, but because we actually bought it at Body Power, we got it a really good deal. Pretty much every attachment you could ever want. It works really well and fits really nicely in the corner here, as you can see. So it's really easy to use. You just use the red adjustable knob like that, and all of a sudden I can be doing the row like this. And you can use it for chest flies coming from the top down. Really good, really versatile, and really small piece of kit for the amount of stuff you can do with it. So again, that is the Body Max CF820 Functional Trainer. So the next one, moving on to this here rack. This is probably my favourite kit. Uh, I can't really decide between the two. In fact, I can't decide between the three. I just love it. You, you guys will be able to see that throughout this video. So all of the links for the stuff will be in the description box, guys. But this is the Body Max CF830840. But this is the Body Max CF470 half rack. I uh, initially wanted to use a the full the full length rack, which basically means it's a a whole you know a whole cage. Whereas this is just a half rack with the spotter bars and everything like that. The reason I didn't go for the whole cage is because it takes up a lot of space and this is just a single, well it's a double garage but we only use half of it. So as you guys can see we need to save a lot of space as often and as much as we can. This can be used for anything that you need, I use it for overhead press, bench press, squat, you can just pull the thing out and use it for deadlifts, you can use it for absolutely anything. That will be one challenge that I set you guys throughout this video, namely one exercise that I cannot do throughout the video. Now I know what you're thinking so far, there's loads of stuff that you can't do. Yeah, give me a minute until I get to the other pieces of equipment and still tell me whether you can name one exercise that I cannot do. On top of the rack we have this barbell. Now this isn't anything special, this is just a regular, I don't even think it was the most expensive one. There was like a really expensive proper commercial one, then there was one kind of slightly cheaper than this. So we decided to go for the middle model and that's the same with quite a lot of this equipment here as well. So this can just be used for pretty much anything, well you know, you guys know the uses for a barbell overhead press, bench press, deadlift, squat, anything that you need you can use this rack and this barbell for. That is what I love about this piece of kit. It saves so much space and you can do so much with it. This actually was the, we have a seven foot bar now, a seven foot Olympic barbell, but this, before we had the, uh, the luxury of the seven foot, this was a six foot bar which we had. If you guys are OGs of the channel, you will know that back upstairs in my bedroom, we used to have a multi gym down here and like a teeny little squat rack. And now we've expanded to this. And this is a six foot bar that as you guys can see, doesn't fit on, uh, on the racks. So we have the need for a seven foot bar. These lock jaw clips are also very, coming very handy as well. You will not find your plates moving if you use these. And they're very cheap. They're only about 30 pound as well. And I think they're about, $40 if you're in the US as well. So next piece of kit guys is the Body Max CF330 Premium Weight Bench. Now it's really, really easy to adjust. You can go incline, you can go decline, and you can go flat as well. It also has a very handy leg extension and hamstring curl function, which comes in very, very handy when you don't have the space for a leg, a leg curl or a hamstring curler. Anything like that in this home gym at the minute, at this point in time is one, too expensive, and two, we don't have the space for it. So as you guys can see, it's really easily adjustable, just the same as the adjustable pulleys. You can use the red knob just to go incline and decline and flat. There's lots, of, I think there's six or seven different notches that you can use, which help massively, massively when it comes to mixing up your training and making more gains. This next item I'm gonna show you isn't actually a piece of gym equipment, but it comes in very, very handy, especially when you have a small space like this. And it is this big ass mirror that we've now got. If you guys have seen the last gym tour and the gym tour before that, you will have known that the, the mirror was actually half the size of what it is now. And so that just means that it opens up the space, makes it seem a hell of a lot bigger and a lot more professional because that's what we want. We want to be able to come in here, feel like we want to work, feel comfortable, feel excited to be in here because you know what? It's, it's a pretty damn cool place to be guys. It's pretty damn good, especially to have in your home gym and the convenience of having such a big handy mirror now means that I don't have to sort of step to one side when I'm doing shoulder press or when I'm doing squat. I can just comfortably not worry about my form and focus on my training. So having a bigger mirror has made a big, big difference to the home gym. Next bit of kit that I'm gonna show you guys is the Body Max CF 
800 leg press slash hack squat machine. Now the beauty of this is that you can do two exercises, but I actually made sure that you can do three exercises because you can obviously use this and do a normal standard leg press, or you can flip the screen, you can flip the stand down, so there's nice comfortable pads and you don't have to worry about it hurting your shoulders or anything like that. I find hat squats are very difficult anyway, and so I don't have to use that much weight, and so that's not much of an issue anyway. The secret third exercise that I like to do is calf raises. Once this is fully loaded, people tend to skip calves altogether. I kind of hit calves in the middle of my workout, just because I, I always end up using or a superset in something like this. So the secret is to use this bar here that's a little bit further down from the pad and put the tips of your toes on that bar. That basically means that you can then bring your toes down past 90 degrees, get the full stretch, full contraction and make the most out of the movement guys. So a very versatile piece of kit, it is kind of big and so if you don't have a lot of space you probably will struggle but if you can see this is just kind of nicely tucked into the corner of the garage. This garage door opens like this and so you know we had to push it ever so slightly more than what we wanted to this way into the gym a little bit more just so it could fit in properly but if you ask me sacrificing that inch or so is uh, is definitely worth it in the long run so it means that we can have these three solid pieces of equipment also the pieces of equipment actually match and that is a very big deal for me now you might be wondering Liam why is a door so important to you in a home gym and the answer is I feel like it kind of ties the whole room together and since the old door, if you've seen in the last home gym tour, was actually, it was a real eyesore and it was really just ugly, it was a horrible colour, there were scratches all down it because it was years old, whereas this one is brand new, but it's just not painted yet. The other side is painted and we're hopefully going to find a colour that is similar to the machines and then on top of that, what we're going to do is paint my little LSJ emblem on there. That was prob probably be sort of centralised, just so throughout the gym you can take pictures and stuff like that. As, as you know, if you make videos, then like, you know, your social media side of things, like your Instagram pictures, it's just as important as your YouTube videos. So, people at home might be thinking, well, why the f*** would you want that? I mean, well, you know, that, that's the reason why. It kind of ties the whole place together. And if you're wondering, this little emblem here, if you're new to the channel, new to this video, then that is just my uh, emblem. I've had it in my head for ages, and pretty much about six months ago, I managed to launch my own company, lsjfitness.com. It will be linked in the description box. I'm wearing the t-shirt and the joggers as well, so go and check that out if you do want to. There'll be lots of new deals and lots of new stuff coming out in the new year. So, back to the equipment. So these are my Olympic barbell plates. As you can see, we have a fair amount of weight here, and what it is stood on is the CF396AW Body Max Stand. I mean, don't ask me why on earth they have such weird names, I, I've never understood. But anyway, we managed to now have build up over the time that we've had the gym. 425 kilo plates, 420 plates, two 15s and four 10s, and then just a few little ones just to add up to get that progressive overload, which as you guys know, is key to making those gains. What I want you guys to know is that this isn't built up, this isn't bought instantly, you know, this has been built up over the last four years. It used to be a teeny little thing in my bedroom, just with a couple of mats and then, you know, we had a rack and a couple of dumbbells and that was about it. And now we've progressed to this and that, in my eyes, is pretty, it's pretty amazing really. I mean, it's a good transformation. I did do a home gym transformation uh, just a few weeks ago when we were putting up all these new pieces of equipment, you know, the mirror and like the new jetpack, which we'll get to in a minute. You might be thinking, jetpack? But yeah, wait, wait, it's pretty cool. So these plates here obviously make their way over to this barbell here, get used for bench press, get used for shoulder press, get used for squats, absolutely everything, guys. If you're deadlifting, you know, they are rubber coated as well. So they are very, very good. They keep the noise down as well as this floor that we have here. It protects the weight and actually, I think the color codedness of it looks pretty damn cool. It's very, it's a, it's a cool, like I like this place to be visually like aesthetic, you know, it look, I want it to look good to the eye because then when you're in here, you feel good because you're like, you know what, I'm, I am lucky to be training in a place like this. This is a really cool, really exciting place to be training and that is what we wanted to do with this place and I feel like we are getting there. So the next piece of equipment is what I like to call the jetpack. Now it doesn't take too much imagination if there's a person stood there, why I call this the jetpack. It's going to mean that we can train abs properly and effectively because abs are both mine and my dad's weakest body part and so that means that we can train it a little bit easier than having to do hanging leg raises. We can use the support, we can use the pads and we can feel the contraction properly like I said earlier in the video because we're, ha we're not having to focus on any external factors, we can just use this machine and then that will be that, we can just focus on the exercise. Plus it adds a great deal of variety to the the gym because we haven't had anything like this and I haven't actually seen anything in anybody else's home gym that's similar to this. I mean it was only £40 as well so price isn't really an issue with something like this. 
My dad fits kitchens, fits bedrooms and bathrooms, so he had no trouble whatsoever fixing it to the wall and making sure it was strong, safe and secure. Next up, in my opinion, is a necessity for any home gym. If you have a small space, then you need dumbbells, but not just any dumbbells, Power Block Sport 9.0 adjustable dumbbells. The reason I say that is because they're just so handy and so small and so compact. That means that you can use the entire variety that you get from a whole dumbbell rack in a commercial gym in two little plates. Yeah, they look a little bit weird and some people have referred to them as, as toasters, which I think is a fair comment. They look pretty damn weird, but they come in very, very handy. It is an LSJ TV tradition in home gym tours that I show you exactly how these are used. So here we go. So as you guys can see, they have multiple options. At the minute, we only go up to 23.5, but they can go up to 41 kilos. That is in the on the agenda to extend but it's not really the top priority right now. So, as you guys can see, they are very simple and easy to use. You just use this clip on the side here, which comes out, and then you slot it further down, and that's how much weight you're gonna use. And as you can see, they are color coded, and so whichever color is on the side there, you will just slot it into that color. So if I wanted nine kilos, I'll slot it into the top one. And that comes out, and then the rest stays there. Slot it back in, let's say I wanted 18 kilos, I'll put it in the purple one. More comes out and vice versa guys. So a very simple, very uh, very adjustable and just easy piece of kit to use that takes up next to no room and gives you a lot of variety for your training. On top of that we have an ab roller, simple piece of equipment which I don't use anywhere near as often as I should. And that is it guys. That is the updated 2018 gym tour. Could this be the best home gym on YouTube? I mean, if it's not, then I definitely want it to be in. So I think we're getting pretty damn close. Let me know if you've seen any other good home gym tours. Let me know if you have any ideas or if you think we're missing anything. And don't forget to tell me that one exercise that we cannot do within this home gym. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching today. If you did enjoy the video, then leave it a like, comment and subscribe if you're new to the channel. This is a slightly different video to what I would normally make. I normally just make sort of... But I go about my daily life and just show it to you guys. I'm a student, I'm a student at Nottingham Trent University. I make normal vlogs, I make highlights videos, all sorts guys, and I'm also a new online personal trainer. So if you are looking for any kind of online personal training, then use the link in the description box, send me an email or anything like that to get involved guys. It would be a pleasure to have you on board. So as I say guys, that is gonna round off today's video and conclude today's home gym tour. Drop it a like if you enjoy the home gym, drop it a like if you enjoyed the video and leave a comment down below. I'll be sure to get back to you as always guys. So thanks so much for watching. I think that's the third or fourth time I've said that so I'm just gonna go, as always remember, no regrets. I'll see you guys in the next video.